got here a, uh, a GX Prado. Um, first thing we're going to look at, I've got a manual, so one thing with the manual is you need to install a, uh, a clutch sensor or a clutch switch. Uh, and the purpose of that is, you know, as you when you when the cruise is engaged, the clutch switch or clutch swent sensor disengages the uh, the cruise control for safety reasons. So, um, first thing here is there's a little panel here. I've already undone it, so it's just one little screw or bolt. Okay, here. So I've got that uh, that cover removed, um, and what I'm looking for right now is the clutch connector, uh, the sensor connector. Now I don't know if you can see this, but that's it right here. So that's all pre-wired in to your. Um, your ECU already so as you can see there's just some tape around it I'm gonna get rid of the tape and get that down uh, so uh, there you go Took a whole 30 seconds, but uh, that's what your connector looks like. So we've got that. I'm just gonna route it through the other side here. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that there. And for your clutch sensor now, there's a little bolt up here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get it shot of it so that bolt that's there has got to be replaced and what we're gonna do is put the clutch switch in there okay so I'm gonna put this on pause and we'll be right back so uh, here's some of the parts I ordered from Japan online. Uh, the site's called uh, Amaya, Amaya.com, I think it is how you pronounce it. But um, anyways, you can see the price there. That's uh, it says there, you know, fifty-seven uh, ninety-one. That's Australian dollars. Um, I am missing the um, the the cruise uh, stock, and uh, I'm just waiting for that to come in. And I picked that up from another supplier uh, from China, so that hasn't come in yet. So uh, there you go. That's the uh, the clutch switch assembly. Yeah. So that's it out of the uh, the package there. You can see where that uh, that cable that we fished out and found that was hiding under the dash. That's where it's going to connect to. Okay. So. That's the uh, the sensor point, I guess. All right. Okay, we're back. Um, I've been trying to get at the um, the uh, the bolt there for the clutch sensor, but I've had no luck from underneath. So I've uh, I've taken the hard way, or it might be the easy way. Um, I just had to remove the this portion here, so there's. There's um there's one bolt there, um, there's one down here, and um, there's one at the bottom there that you have to undo, and then you'll have to pull out uh, this side panel. So um, in the interim, while I wasn't able to film this, um, I just used a small wrench to undo, um, loosen that bottom, the. Uh, the bottom bolt there, the bottom nut rather, and then the what that did is <clears throat> the top one now is coming out. <clears throat> so <clears throat> should be able to come out. You can 
see what I'm doing there. So, uh, that's the bolt I removed. Um, just went on top of that little green piece there. Alright. Alright, so I've managed to route the wire up above the uh, the clutch pedal, and you'll notice this uh, you notice a little plastic piece here, and that that piece actually fits in to you can see let's see if I can zoom there that piece right there. So that little plastic piece fits into that there. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Ah, oh, there one. Okay, uh, we're back to doing the uh, the clutch sensor installation. Um, one thing that the uh, the clutch sensor uh, switch does affect is the uh, the pedal height. So you're gonna have to um, get the or screw in the clutch uh, the clutch switch down to where the the pedal your clutch pedal is lined up with um, with your brake pedal or close and in and around there. Um, you do want a little bit of play there. See before I really start to have to press, but. Um, I think that's about right, so I'll tie her down, and uh, then we'll put everything back together, and we should be good. So, <clears throat> just so you can have a look, try and zoom in. Um, that's it there. And bingo, once you get off. So that is serving as a height adjustment for the the clutch as well. Alright, so should be good. I'll put her all back together, tighten the nut at the top, and uh, away we go. Okay, so um, anyways, that uh, that nut at the top is finally, finally tight. Um, I had to actually take out the foot vent to get at it. It was a real pain in the ass to do. Um, but luckily there's only one, uh, one little screw or bolt that holds this in, so I'll be putting that back here shortly. Okay. So anyhow, I've, uh, pushed the, uh, put that one screw on, which is holding that rear duct. Put that one back on. Got that one fastened back, and then, uh, got this lower... This lower piece here of the dash we put back. Um, really easy. Um, one, uh, one screw here, one here, and then one there. So uh, three in total, and then you have your lower cover which takes uh, the last one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I've uh, I've put bolt uh, that bolt back on. Uh, there's one under here that I just, uh, anyways, I put that on, put that piece back on, put that one in, and uh, here I've got the last, uh, the last piece to put back here, probably. <clears throat> that looks good. in one and two and last screw that's all she wrote um, one thing I forgot to mention is when you're tightening that uh, the clutch switch um, underneath <laughs> wherever it is up there. Do remember to hook the wire up to the switch after tightening it. Um, so do that. Um, 
chat just to make sure that those things are working so my hood and my uh, my fuel um, fuel latch on the side opens and you should be good tools you'll need to install the uh, clutch sensor for the cruise control are uh, I used a adjustable small uh, six inch uh, six inch wrench um, I used a uh, 12 millimeter socket um, with a uh, screw attachment and I just needed a uh, Phillips screwdriver because one of my uh, bolts were or one of my screws were um, Phillips and not the uh, 12 millimeter and then additional I had a, uh, a little light to use here which uh, helps out when getting in the nooks and crannies there